Hi everyone, this is Nula. I've had a lot of questions on PMs and also comments on how to dual boot the Hackintosh. And I've done a lot of work trying to get this um, sorted out and I ran across quite a few challenges and it seems like dual booting the Hackintosh isn't as easy as some of the answers I gave to my viewers and I apologize for that um, only reason uh, I can give is that I was dual booting my old Hackintosh and it was easier because I was running um, both OS 10 and Windows XP from the same hard drive and also my mo old motherboard was a little bit different. I wasn't using AHCI mode on the disk controller. But anyways, in this video I'm gonna take a look into the challenges slash problems I encountered while trying to make this guide for dual booting Windows XP and Snow Leopard. The reason I'm using uh, Windows XP is because I own a license for Windows XP. I haven't bought Vista, I haven't bought Windows 7. I might buy Windows 7 after maybe some time, but right now I'm going to do it with the Windows XP. should be pretty similar with Windows 7 or Windows Vista. I'm also going to touch uh, a little bit about um, how to do it with Windows 7, but I can't give you any examples. So let's do it. The Windows CD goes into the DVD drive. Here is um, my attempt on installing Windows XP without using the uh, third party drivers for the drive controller. Uh, Windows XP was released long before uh, Serial 8A existed, so since we are using the drive controller in AHCI mode instead of IDE mode, we'll need extra drivers. And here's what happens if you don't do it. And essentially, installation crashes with a blue screen. And as you probably understand, I had to dig up an old floppy drive. I copied the um, drivers from the CD that came with the motherboard onto a floppy, I pressed F6 in the beginning of the installation and when the installation has come to a certain point it will ask you what kind of drivers you want to load. This motherboard has the Intel ICH10R so I'm loading those drivers from the floppy and you would think that uh, this would prevent a blue screen at least that's what I thought but uh, as you'll see in a second now the drivers actually didn't help. We get a blue screen. And after the last attempt I figured maybe it's the DVD drive that causes problems because it's on a drive controller that's in the AHCI mode instead of IDE mode. So I moved the DVD ROM from the Intel controller to the Gigabyte or J Micron controller and set that to IDE mode. Still pressed F6 in the beginning of setup and the setup asks me what drivers do you want to load. I load the, the drivers for the Intel uh, disk controller and continue the installation. And I was kind of hoping this would fix my problem. Uh, you could say I, I kind of held my breath when it came to the point here where I normally got the blue screen and as you can see the blue screen does not appear. So now we figured out the first problem and as you can see here I am a little bit further in the setup and I do the normal installation procedure but there's no drive to install on and if I press any key boom I get a blue screen. And for this portion of the video, I moved both the Windows hard drive and the DVD drive over to the J Micron uh, Serial 88 controller and put that in IDE mode. Uh, that makes uh, the, 
the RAID controller, the serial ATA controller seem like a normal IDE uh, controller for, for the operating system. And then you don't need to load any third-party drivers because Windows XP, of course, has support for IDE. I get to the point where I can install, choose where I install, press F8 to acknowledge, and it searches for previous versions of Windows. I have a previous version of uh, or installation of Windows XP on this drive. Just format that part of the hard drive. And um, as you can see, this works perfectly. So now we're doing the installation. And as you can see, there are challenges especially installing Windows XP because Windows XP is old it was released before serial ATA existed it doesn't have support for AHCI mode of the disk controller you need third-party drivers and the third-party drivers didn't work um, I did send a support ticket to Gigabyte about the problem uh, they haven't uh, they have responded to but to me but uh, we haven't resolved the issue so the solution seems like since we have a secondary disk controller uh, the, then we just use that put that in IDE mode and put the Windows hard drive on it and for the installation put the DVD drive on it as well then you can install Windows XP no problem everything works um, until I get um, uh, solution from Gigabyte this will have to be the way to do it with Windows Windows XP Windows 7 has support for AHCI so you shouldn't run into these problems if you install a Windows 7 I'm not sure about Windows Vista you might uh, have to do the same as I did now or it has support for AHCI and will install without a problem As you can see, we finished copying all the installation files onto the hard drive. In my next video, I'll finish the installation of uh, Windows XP. Um, I guess there will be people that would comment to me and say it's not good to use the drivers that was on the CD. And you're quite correct about that. Um, I did download the latest third-party drivers from the Gigabyte support site and it still gave me the same result uh, a blue screen the first two blue screens I got was most likely because the DVD draw ROM was on the Intel controller which is running in AHCI mode because of Snow Leopard uh, putting, on, uh, putting the DVD ROM on the secondary disk controller and having that in IDE mode did prevent the blue screen so I could come a little bit further in the installation uh, but as you saw um, I couldn't see the the drive that I wanted to install on and when I pressed any key I got a blue screen so that means there's still an issue with the, the drivers that Gigabyte provides to install Windows XP on the disk controller in AHCI mode. So you have to use the IDE mode because that emulates a normal IDE controller and Windows XP understands that. So anyways, we got a working solution and please follow me until the next video.